So let's pretend you're watching your favorite show, Shark Tank. You're snuggled up on the couch watching your show. An entrepreneur boldly walks into the tank, pitches his or her company or his or her idea, and asks for $500,000 in exchange for 30% of his or her company. And you kind of see the reactions of the sharks, but then you find yourself watching and thinking, wow, I wonder what that entrepreneur thinks his or her company is worth. Well, that is the goal of this short video, to help you understand how do you calculate that. How do you calculate the perceived value of the entrepreneur who's pitching his or her idea? And when a shark counter offers, I want you to be able to calculate and understand what does the shark think that the company is worth. My name is Dr. Jennifer Winward, and I'm the founder and CEO of Winward Academy. I know that you're used to having me give you tips for math class, ACT, SAT. Yes, that is true, but today I'm extra excited about this lesson because I think that it's fun to be able to connect learning, especially learning math, to something that we all enjoy, which is Shark Tank. But also learning percents is a great idea. It's a great idea when you're prepping for ACT, SAT, when you're prepping for college. And to be honest, it's just a great concept that everyone should know for every single day. So let's jump to our scenario. So Liz Adams is from Boston, Massachusetts and is seeking $300,000 for 5% of her company, Mr. Fizz. So you can imagine when Liz walks in and says, hey, I'm requesting 300 grand for 5% of my company, the cameras are gonna pan to the sharks and they're gonna have facial reactions like, whoa, she's asking for a lot, right? I want you to understand why they're reacting that way. So that's what we're gonna calculate together. So we'll finish reading the scenario. Liz has developed a cleaning solution for an everyday inconvenience. Mr. Fizz is a cleaning tablet that dissolves in water, making cleaning your portable water bottles painless and effective. So the big question of the day, what is Liz Adams's valuation of her company, Mr. Fizz? So remember, she's asking for 300 grand in exchange for 5% of her company. I want you to learn how to do this so that you could watch Shark Tank and after a pitch, you could even pause the TV, take a moment and calculate what is the perceived value of the company. So the first thing you need is the equation. Once you learn this equation, you could apply it to any of the pitches and to any of the counter offers from the sharks. So she's asking for 300 grand in exchange for 5%. So that price, right, the capital, the cash, right, that she is looking for, that is what you put in the numerator. And the percent, which is the amount of equity that she's proposing giving away, that's what you put in the denominator. Now here comes a fun teaching moment, right? How do you do 300,000 divided by 5%? Remember, when you see the word percent, percent is the same thing as divided by 100. So 5% is the same thing as 5 divided by 100. Remember, when you divide by 100, that's the same thing as moving the decimal two places to the left. So from 5, if you move 1 to the left, you get 0.5. If you move another decimal to the left, you have to insert a 0 there, and that's 0.05. So remember, 0.05 is the same thing as 5 over 100, which is the same thing as 5%. So how are we gonna figure out Liz's pr uh, proposed valuation? 300 grand divided by 0.05, which is $6 million. So now you can better understand why the sharks are probably gonna give her a little bit of a look, like, whoa, you really think your company is worth a lot. So let's see how the sharks react to Liz's proposal. Damon loves the product, loves the solution, but has a problem with how Liz handles herself. When pressed with challenging questions, Liz becomes argumentative and full of excuses. For those reasons, Damon is out. What does Lori think? Lori is concerned with the lack of potential patent protection and thinks a larger competitor could easily knock off Mr. Fizz. For that reason, she is out. All right, well, it looks like Mark is interested and he makes a counteroffer. So what does Mark Cuban do? Mark Cuban does not see the patent issue as a concern, so he disagrees with Lori, and he is sold on the fact that Liz is in final discussions with Walmart. He makes a counter offer. He's still gonna give her the 300 grand she's asking for, but in exchange for 20% of the company. Remember, she originally proposed 5%. Mark counters for 20%. So what does Mark Cuban believe Mr. Fizz is worth? So you're gonna use the exact same equation and the exact same steps that you did before. 
You're gonna do the price, write that capital, that $300,000 divided by the percent, except now instead of it being 5%, it's 20%. Exact same steps, 20% is the same thing as 20 divided by 100, because remember percent is the same thing as divided by 100. 20 divided by 100 is 0 0.2. 300,000 divided by 0 0.2 is 1.5 million. Okay. So you're watching the show, you figured out Liz believes her company is worth six million, Mark Cuban counters and thinks that the company is worth one and a half million. So now the extra bonus of your learning today is I want you to learn how do you calculate the percent change? How do you calculate the percent of the decrease of the value of the company when we went from the proposed value of six million to Mark's counter offer of one and a half million? So what I'm about to show you is a new equation now. Remember the first equation, the capital, right, divided by the percent equity, that was to actually calculate the value, the proposed value of the company. Now we're gonna calculate percent change. So I wanna understand by what percent did the value decrease going from six million to one and a half million? And the equation for percent change is the difference divided by the original. So how do we calculate the difference? It's the new price of one and a half million minus the original of six million divided by the original, also six million, and then to convert that to a percent, we're going to multiply by a hundred. So one and a half million minus six million, right, the new price from Mark minus the original price from Liz divided by the original price from Liz, that is negative 0.75. So then we multiply by 100 and get negative 75. So what is the answer? If we get negative 75, that is a 75% decrease. So that means, right, that now what can you do? You can calculate the proposed value by the entrepreneur. You can calculate the proposed value based on the counter offer of a shark. And then as an extra special bonus, you can figure out what is the percent change from the original proposed value to the counter offer value. All right, well, thank you so much for learning with us. Feel free to always connect with Windward Academy, lots of great resources, fun ways to learn. We're all about maximizing your opportunities in college and beyond. And hopefully you will never watch Shark Tank the same way again.